Yeah, I'm pouting. My buddies are driving Jeeps on a Normandy beach here in France. And me, well, I'm grounded. Welcome back to Team G503. I am Scott Schiller, your host. In this video, we're going to be installing two little simple but very, very important wires that ground the headlamp bucket assembly to the grill on your G503 Jeep. Again, very important little two little wires, so just going to do a short little video on this. Make sure we get those all right so our headlights work. Let's dive right in. When I disassembled the 43 Willis MB, the brackets indeed were on top with the heads of the bolts showing from the top and the nuts coming from the bottom. But as you see here on the hinge, there's quite a bit of wear from where the hood rubbed against the side of the hinge there and wore the side down. So I imagine at some point Willis Overland decided to put the hinges underneath the side of the grill like this with the bolts on top and the nuts coming through the bottom and that way it wouldn't rub there and kind of wear off the edge of that hinge. We're going to be installing the ground straps onto those two bolts, so I'm going to go ahead and put them back the underneath side even though I've seen plenty of pictures. Here's a picture of the ground strap. It's a black wire with three markers and it's got the connectors on each end. I'm going to show you how to connect it to the two points here to get yourself a good ground through your bracket and inevitably your buckets. Now a GPW, the bolt would come up from the bottom and the nut would be on the top so there's another variation that we can discuss and talk about in the future as well. We'll be installing the ground straps and they are part number A1731, the headlight ground wires and they come in the Ron Fitzpatrick master wiring kit and you see we've got some quality fasteners and connectors on the end there and the wire is very well done and so is the loom that's on the outside of it. Those are going to be connected from that screw there on the bracket to the front bolt there on the inside of the grill. It's important that you do that. Now I've taken the original screw out and I've taken the bolts back out and I have a little rust in there so what I'm going to do to alleviate that problem is I'm going to take my Dremel tool with a little wire brush on the end of it and then I'm going to clean the paint off to get it as shiny as I can. As you see here I've got it all cleaned up nice and that's going to be important to make our good ground contact. There are two round connector eyelets to the ends and the larger one is going to go there to the front and that's going to be connected by our 516s by half inch bolt with lock washer and nut and then the other side is going to be connected to where I remove the screw and that also is going to need an internal washer. Here's the original screw, I'm going to have to clean the rust off that before I install it but then I've also got a brand new internal external star washer that fits that screw perfectly and I'm going to use that to give myself a good bite there on the metal to make a good ground. So I've installed the lock washer between the head of the screw and it's as simple as re returning that screw to its original hole and give that a good snug down into tighten and that's going to be your ground contact point on the back side of the bracket there. On the front I've simply put the bolt through the larger eyelet and then I've put the lock washer and the nut on the underneath side of the grill and then went ahead and just tightened that down. Now notice how I've got that off to offset to the side on the hinge as I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm talking explain this to you is I'm loosening up this wing nut here on the bracket and I'm going to show you how when I take this apart and I flip it up, it's not going to bind at that ground wire at all. And then we can flip the lights backwards there as we can do. We either can use them to work on the engine, as I've heard from some people, or we can actually do some service on the light bulbs themselves. You be the judge of the reason why. So here I've got everything all tightened down. And on the opposite side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put that hinge underneath like I did on the opposite one so that hinge does not rub on the hood. We've got our light buckets all in, and I'll show you in the near future how those are all grounded off as there's all specific specific points that ground these buckets to the actual point. The ground is very important for those lights to work correctly. So I'll go ahead now and change all that out and, and put the ground wire back in that hole. Again, it's on the inside bolt there towards the center of the grill. To match everything up, I went ahead and dabbed on some primer and some OD green to match everything up and to protect my fasteners from rusting, but you can see here how they're, they're all installed. With the grounds installed, we're ready to move on to our next step of wiring the headlights. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. The, the punny little jokes and the puns, and yes, Shiller, that's really funny. But in reality, I did actually get grounded an awful lot when I was a child, and I know that's kind of hard for you to believe out there, but I did do my fair share of shenanigans in my youth, and I was grounded quite a bit. If you're noticing in these electric videos, grounds are extremely important, and that, that's why we put so much emphasis on them. So the little two little grounds there, you're going to see why in the next video, why those are so important, because we're going to jump in and do some more wiring. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking that button down there on the bottom, it says subscriptions, and you can also click that bell so you will be notified when we release the next videos. All right, my friends, until next time, stay out of trouble, don't get grounded, keep it safe, and happy jeeping.